We want to take you to Mombasa County live. We have live images of the fire blazing at the Mombasa Hospital, one of the oldest and the largest private hospital in Mombasa County. This is in Vita constituency. And what our correspondent on the ground informed us about uh, 20 minutes ago or so is that at about 8.30, that is when he first had reports of this fire as to what started it uh, and at what port part of the hospital the fire is you know, raging at. We do not know as of yet. And we'll be speaking to Francis Ntalaki on the same. But what we know is that the hospital is a 125-bed capacity hospital. Uh, on the website, they say that they have about 170 nurses. And uh, what we can see are frantic activities as they seek to move patients, especially those who may have been in HDU or ICU, to other hospitals for continual treatment. This also must have been very traumatizing for those who are there, probably settling in for what they thought would be a quiet night before the fire broke out. Uh, and this is what we are told is that it happened at about 8.30 and what you're seeing are frantic attempts to evacuate any who may still be within the hospital and of course to clear the way for fire fighters who are trying to put out that blaze. Let's now bring in Francis Mutalaki who can tell us more about this. He's live for us on phone. Mutalaki, uh, tell us what are the latest details? What can you tell us so far? Well, the details are still scanty with regard to the cause of the fire, but uh, uh, what we can be able to report is what we are seeing here, and uh, a number of buildings are on the fire, but I uh, can be able to count one, two, three in number. And uh, as I've said, the fire broke at around 8 30 there, and uh, what is currently happening is a rescue mission, and uh, we're able to see a number of patients that are being evacuated and moved out of the hospital. Uh, some are being taken to uh, the nearby uh, hospital, which is Pandya uh, Hospital, which is a bit about around uh, uh, one kilometer from... Uh, Lucky, uh, my apologies. Allow me to interrupt you. We are not getting you very clearly, and so we'll talk to you a bit later on once we can get a clear signal from your end. He was speaking to us on phone, but what he was basically trying to tell us was that he estimates that the fire broke out at about 8.30 p.m. That is what he is hearing from eyewitnesses. Of course, he does not have sort of official information either from uh, law enforcers from, um, you know, sort of some coordinator on the ground or maybe even the hospital's administration. But in terms of capacity, the website lists it as a 125-bed hospital uh, with about 170 nurses on standby to deal with any patients who may visit. One of the oldest and largest private hospitals in Mombasa County in Mvita constituency. And so what you are seeing on your screen are frantic attempts to evacuate any patients who may still be within that premises. Of course, for such a large hospital, possibly we may, it may have been at anywhere from 70% capacity onwards. That's a lot of people uh, to evacuate from the hospital bearing in mind. Some of them may not have been in a condition to walk. And we've just seen pictures of an ambulance quickly uh, being driven out of the facility, possibly carrying one or more patients to other hospitals where they may get continual medical treatment as uh, you know, they you know, strive to heal from what must be a very traumatizing encounter for them. You can definitely see that smoke billowing out of a section of the hospital. And when we get Francis Mtalaki on the line, hopefully he'll have more details for us. Where did the fire start? At what time? Uh, sort of any leads in terms of what caused the fire uh, and whether they've been able to evacuate all the patients uh, so far. About 20 minutes ago, we were informed that no injuries as a result of the fire had been reported. Should there be uh, contrary information to that, then we will be able to give that to you. But for now, the images you're seeing on your screen is of the Mombasa Hospital, one of the oldest and largest private medical facilities in Mombasa, on fire and frantic attempts to evacuate anyone who may be within this institution. Francis Mtalaki, I believe we still have you online. You are giving us the latest details. Please carry on. Yes, Wahira, Wahiga, as I was telling you, that um, some of the reports that we've been able to gather so far is that uh, the fire broke at uh, the children's ward. That is what uh, the, some of the reports that we've been able to receive. But these are unconfirmed reports. And um, uh, as I was saying, that uh, Mombasa Hospital is one of the uh, hospitals that are busy here in Mombasa in terms of making sure that they are attending to various patients in Mombasa. And so, uh, while we were coming in, a number of uh, uh, patients were being evacuated and moved to uh, the uh, hospitals that are a bit uh, closer to Mombasa Hospital. We have, of course, General Hospital as well as Pandya uh, uh, Hospital. There is uh, an activity now moving to moving th those uh, patients to that area. 
And a while ago, there was an ambulance which was here uh, trying to evacuate a number of patients who are, uh, who are here at Mombasa Hospital. Um, and the, the number of, uh, number of patients, number of uh, uh, patients who are here uh, at uh, Mombasa Hospital, we are yet to confirm that. But of course, this is a situation that is happening here in Mombasa, uh, at the Mombasa Hospital. And uh, currently, uh, we can see uh, that uh, two or three of the buildings are still on fire, but um, uh, the, uh, the Mombasa County uh, Department of Fire are here trying to uh, make sure that they contain the situation. But um, uh, maybe as we move along, we'll be able to get more details with, as to the cause of the fire because we are yet to understand uh, what exactly led uh, to the fire here at uh, Mombasa Hospital. And uh, uh, from the reports that we've been able to gather while we're moving at Pandya Hospital, most of the, uh, the, uh, the patients that were here at uh, Mombasa Hospital have been moved to Pandya, which is the, uh, the hospital that is a bit uh, closer. Uh, to the Mombasa hospital but as also we understand uh, uh, because the number of patients who are here could be high and so uh, Pandya alone cannot be able to accommodate the number of patients who are here uh, and uh, some of the reports that we are getting that uh, most of uh, others are being sent to Coast General Hospital and other hospitals that are closer to within the CBD because this is a, uh, a busy area in terms of making sure that the health, uh, the health of the residents of Mombasa is being taken care of. And as you had said earlier, the fire broke at around 8.30 there, uh, around 8.30, 8.40, that's when we re received the reports. And uh, uh, since it's closer to the county government of Mombasa, then the response was a bit quick in terms of uh, making sure that the situation has been contained. But so far, uh, the fire, you can be able to see some fire on the other side, some around uh, 100 uh, meters or so and uh, that is the situation but uh, we can be able to see some of the uh, uh, officers from the county government of Mombasa moving around to the other side to try and see if they can be able to contain the fire and uh, uh, as you can see from your pictures that is the situation in one of the uh, buildings here at uh, uh, Mombasa hospital security also uh, is very tight because uh, also is an area that uh, next to the government offices, the regional 